Hi, Jeannie here, and today I'm going to show you how to create a landing page in the free version of ConvertKit. So here is the new dashboard look of ConvertKit. And when you log in, you may see something like this. And I'm just going to click on landing pages and forms. And what's nice is that you can create either a form that can be embedded on your site or a full landing page that can stand alone. And so I'm going to start with a landing page. The difference is usually a landing page will take up the full page and a form can be like in the sidebar and take up a little bit less space. So here I'm just going to click ebook and take a look at the templates here for the ebooks. And I'm just going to scroll down and see if any of these look like something that I like. And this looks kind of interesting. I do like things with arrows because they draw attention. So I'm just going to choose this one for now. And you can always change the template later if you need to. Okay, so this is loading the template. And for now, I'm just going to rename it. So I'm just going to put 7 Tips Ebook Landing Page. And we're just going to start customizing this now. Okay, so this is what the ebook looks like after somebody has downloaded it. So I'm just going to grab a few things for the copy from this PDF that people will get after they opt in. Okay, so you can just type right in to each one of these boxes in the template and maybe you'll want at least three lines of text about this. Okay, so this could be changed later if you want. So sign up today is fine. You can also change the background color of this button if you'd like. And this is kind of like a two page opt in. So it's a little bit, or maybe it's just you'll have to scroll down. So let's just go ahead and Let's click on this image and we're going to replace this image by clicking on replace and you can choose images directly from Unsplash or Instagram or you can upload an image. So I'm going to choose a file from my folders to upload. Okay, so I've found the PNG file that I want to try out. So let's go to open and it's right there. I wonder if it's possible to decrease the amount of scrolling. I do like landing pages to have the opt-in box, which is here above the fold. So I might see if it's it's possible to to add it here or maybe pull this up. So I'm just going to see if I can drag it with the hand icon. So I'm just dragging and we'll see if it'll allow me to add it up here. And maybe I might have to add it as a new element. So with the plus, you can do that. So let's go to the plus. And let me just look at this here. Insert. 
not really exactly what I'm looking for in the builder. So you might be able to see if you can get this whole grouping to go up. So let me try the button. If the button will go. And it looks like you can't easily pull the button up. And I don't know, I guess it's not too easy to drag and drop that in this particular template. So if you wanted to have the opt-in box above the fold, what you would do is go back to your general styles and this is a siesta page. So I'm gonna save this for now and I'm going to maybe think about changing the template later. So I'll keep this for now and then maybe experiment with something above the fold as well. But once this is published, you can go to publish and you can see how it looks. So as you can see, this is a full page and ConvertKit will have its own published and hosted URL. And then you can go ahead and customize it however you would like. And so whether you have WordPress or not, you can have a nice professional looking landing page where you can deliver an ebook or a free gift easily. So let's go back. I'm going to exit the preview. And in the settings, you can decide how to deliver your ebook. So let's just go to the incentive email and I will auto confirm new subscribers and for the conf confirmation link you can redirect to a download or a URL. So I'm going to go to the download and let's choose the file from my folders and so this will be the actual PDF. So right here I'm going to select it. You can always update this later and so ConvertKit, once somebody has confirmed, they can click on this and go there. So you may want to edit the out of the box message. So you can say important, confirm your subscription to download your seven tips for surviving and thriving in for new arrivals ebook and you might make this a little bit shorter so that people will open it now what's nice about this is people can confirm and so they can confirm and then download right away their book Okay, so, and you can say hello or something like that if you wanted to confirm, uh, make this more customized, but this is fine for now. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. You can decide to turn off the incentive email. You can decide to have this on or off depending on whether you want the double opt-in on and off. So you have some some choices here. You can also customize the URL. Under advanced you can have people who've already subscribed sent back to so show custom content, hide the form, continue to show the form or you can take them to the thank you page if there's a thank you page so I'm not sure if there is going to be a thank you page so you may want to have that turned off for now and for SEO analytics you can actually fill out the title of the freebie so you could put seven tips for
and you could put a little description okay so um, and you can also choose an image so I'm just going to save this for now let's save it and I'll finish filling in these placeholder parts of the landing page and then publish it. And that's all there is to it. Have a great day.